Okay, um, now for the third section, uh, third video on chapter one. Uh, we were talking last time about this uh, website, www.randomizer.org. And let's just go over the numbers again. How many sets do I want? I just want one sample. How many numbers do I want in the sample? I want 50 random numbers uh, from 1 to 10,000. Do I wish to uh, each number to remain unique? Yes. Uh, I want to sort them from least to greatest. I'll leave the place markers off. And now I just hit randomize now. And there you have it. You can copy, swipe over that, copy that, paste that um, uh, into Excel or whatever. Because there is commas here, you can sort those into uh, unique rows. So this is a much simpler way um, to get a large uh, number of unique random numbers. Okay. So let's go back to, uh, here's a challenge through problems five and six. Probably the best thing to do is use the chart um, because it's just asking for a small number. Now here's the, uh, uh, some other, that was a simple random, but if say that you wanna have a random sample that, and you wanna make sure that um, you get a representation from two groups like men and women or managers and employees. So what you would do is that you would uh, consider each one of these a population uh, and you would take a random sample of each one. That is what is called a stratified sample. Okay, there's problem 26 uh, that give, lets you do, get practice doing that. Now, say if you don't know how many are actually going to be in the, the uh, population, say that you're a store owner and you wanted to get a sample of your, a uh, random sample of your customers, but you don't, you're not sure on any given day exactly how many. Say that your population is somewhere around 215 and you want to have a sample of 70. Well, if you sampled um, every third person that came in from the beginning of the day to the end of the day, you would get uh, wind up with a, a sample of 70 because um, 215 divided by 3 will give you uh, 70. Uh, if you want a sample size of 50, then you all, all you have to do is, is ask every fourth customer or and so on. If you want just 30, then every seventh customer. Now, how is this random? How does every person in the population, all those people who came into the store that day, how do they each have an equal opportunity? Well, what you would do, say that I decided that my K is, that's the, the uh, number that I've divided into my uh, population. Say that my K is three. Um, then what I would do is I would go to the chart or to the website and get a random number from one to three. Say that randomly I uh, picked uh, two. That was the first number on the chart that I came up to. Then I would start there and, and uh, jump every third person. So I would get the second customer, the fifth customer, the eighth customer, the, and the 11th. You know, if I randomly selected three, I would start with three and then six and then nine and 12 and so forth. So uh, if, if my uh, K was uh, six, remember K is the number if divided into the population that will give you the sample size you want, I would randomly select from one to six, say that I got five, and then I jump every sixth person from there. This is what is called a systematic sample, and it's, uh, it is when you use this when you do not know exactly how many are in your population. So here's a challenge for you to, to practice uh, making sure you understand the concept. Now, sometimes you have groups or clusters that you cannot break up. In other words, you can't go into classroom two and actually um, uh, do a random sample, you have to either sample everybody or nobody. 
So one way to do that is to number the groups, like these elementary classes, uh, and then you sample, uh, do a random selection of oops, those, uh, those classes. And, and when you went into those classes, you would uh, sample everybody in the class. OK? That's a cluster sample. OK? Now, let's talk about uh, some other things that are, are um, well, what you don't want to do is what is called a convenience sample. Say that you were that store owner and you um, wanted to sample uh, 50 of your customers and you just asked the first 50 that came in the door. Well, maybe the, the first 50 that come in in the morning are, would give you different answers than the afternoon crowd or the evening crowd. So um, you don't want to do a, a convenience sample. That's not random. It's not scientific. Sometimes uh, to break down a very large population, like when they take a census of the United States, they will first do a stratified, like, for instance, uh, select certain states. And then um, they will, uh, or say certain cities, and then they will uh, identify a cluster and then do a systematic sample within uh, that cluster. So uh, there's a variety of different sampling methods. So this concludes the video, uh, the third video on uh, chapter one versus, or excuse me, chapter one, sections uh, one through four. Uh, the next video will be on uh, sections five and six.